third and short. Rutgers needing about six inches on third down at the Washington 40. Opening drive for the Scarlet Knights. Edwards, can he get there? And it looks like he can. Field now he goes in motion, empty backfield for Bowling. Looking. comes a blitz. Rutgers picks it up. And Martin Bowden looking under pressure. Underneath that intercepted. This one picked off. Murphy. And it'll be taken down deep in Rutgers territory. Byron Murphy on the field. Remember, this is his first start at Rutgers after transferring from Louisville. Third and seven. Edwards cuts it back with the road. High stepping. Augustus. On seven. Stopping him on a second and short. Third down and two of the 25. Rutgers three of five on third down conversions. Bowling under pressure. Jumps it up. And first down. Gus has a state-like philosophy going on right now with the clock. Third down and seven. Play fake. Bowling going for the long ball. Incomplete. DeCovan Bailey, the intended receiver. Bowling. And once again, the Rutgers offense. Rutgers with one timeout remaining. Edwards brings it back inside and picks up a first down at the the other kicker to depend on who Coach Ash wants in the game. Bowling sideline incomplete. Before contact was made, that'll make it third down and ten at the 35. Bowling sets up a screen. He's got Edwards in space. Edwards will pick up the first down and more. Great play call by Jim. Offensive line is in dominant, and yet he's still finding ways to gain yardage. Gus Edwards has been really good so far tonight. Third down and one. Could he get the first down? And yeah, doesn't look like he'll get it. In a situation like this on a third down. Third and four at the 30 yard line. Bowling. Underneath, and is it a first down for Jerome Washington? We'll see. It looks like it. Martin in at running back. They give it to him. And he won't get it. Or will he? Second effort? Maybe, depending on the spots. He needs to get... Basically to the 44 and a half, and it doesn't look like he's going to get it. He's probably about four or five inches short of this based on where they spot the football, and they're going to go ahead and punt this. That is a disappointing series for Rutgers. They've played so hard and so well tonight. The top of your screen in the slot. Third down and seven at the 41. Buda Baker, second round pick. Now bowling. Looking. Murphy out of bounds, his second pick of the day. And I'm sure his uncle, Mike Bibby, is really happy, the former NBA star. In the young secondary, third and four. Bowling. And he drove that football over the middle. James Gus, Augustus, Junior. That's so great. Mark. And he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not a first down. Fourth down and three. Bowling. Looking in the end zone. That one thrown a bit high. But caught. Bailey. Touchdown. Rutgers. And he struggled the last two weeks with the drop. Something to pay attention to. That would have been a first down. Now it's third for Fresno State. Bartlett's pressure. Short throw there, won't get the first down. Washington flying to the ball. 
and doing a good job of tackling Jordan Miller was first there on that outlet throw to Damari Scott. On well, this second in the middle of your screen right there, Greg Gaines, they make it happen. So on third, Virgil has enough time but overthrows by a decent margin, Keyshawn Johnson over the middle. Virgil looking for the quick hit in the middle, not held. Would have been a first down, Jared Rice. So you get a master's degree in art then, what you're telling me. I just, oh, I thought that was going to be a pick. We get a flag down. Jordan Miller looks to be in, in what most USC folks expect to be the season of Sam. That's right. All right, off the timeout, good stick there by Azeem Victor. All over tight end Kyle Ritter. He's going to rush the quarterback, but that's the dynamic element of that position. You'll see him right at the bottom of your screen. So on third, pressure coming again, and Virgil delivers. This one's held by Jared Rice. Third down and seven. Swing one out in the back. Oh, a nice play by Mims in the open field. So Jordan Mims... Still dropped short of the first down. He made the first. That guarantees to move the chains on the early downs. They go straight eye formation. Lindsey dotting the eye. Right up the gut with Bizharat. Number 30, he dotting the eye. On third down. Unbalanced look to the left side. Lindsey, touchdown! Washington having problems getting lined up. Nice. Fake the pitch to Bizharat. And then the nimble-footed series of the night. Nice. Play fake, and it's wide open. There's Lindsey out of the backfield. It's a first down. Once again, pressure off the edge, and they get to him. It's Greg Gaines, 99, from up the middle. Tevis Bartlett, 17. Four girls, and I would love to have a son like that, I can tell you. When, when he mentioned mama, you were you were sold. Here's a slide down, and I'm thinking he's Montez may be about a yard shy. Also at receiver, flank down to the bottom of your screen. Third and two. Montez keeps it. Designed run all the way, and it's a first down. And down, and this is a big, big series coming up here. Over the middle and caught. That's Bryce Bobo, and it's a first down. Third and eight. Bootleg action for Montez, and he slides down. Wow. That's the first time I've seen footing really be a problem tonight. Tim, great scheme. Third down four after the loss of two. Montez, nice. that's picked. Wow. That's the third interception. This one by Miles Bryant. Touchdown, Huskies. Yep. He was unable to go tonight. He's injured. They hope to get him back next week. Huge third down play here for Montez. More pressure. Here they come. And you see the size and strength as Azim Victor, knowing they've got to throw it, came hard and fast. For him to be more consistently explosive in the passing game. Third down and two for Oregon State. They've actually been pretty good on third down this year, believe it or not, with their struggles. But on third down, they give it the Wildcat look with Ryan Knoll fighting his way. Bowman, the redshirt freshman, who is a walk-on. Standing up as an edge rusher. He got back. Garrison from the pocket. And it's incomplete, looking for Jordan Billiman. Third down for Garrison. Throws it underneath, incomplete, looking for Villeman. Garrison in the Oregon State offense. On the 27-yard line. The same Washington lined up looking like man. They love to go trap coverages, though, when you come off of man. Screen set up to Ryan Knoll. Knoll gets a block, and Ryan Knoll runs for a Beavers first down. In the game, Oregon State would hang in in the way they have. Third down and 13. And it's play action. Garrettson fires incomplete, looking for Collins, who wants a flag. 
Jordan Miller in coverage for Washington. Pierce is split out. Blitz coming off the edge. Garrison will tuck it and try to run for it. And brought down after a gain of one. Third and two. Garrison on the slant to Villeman. Can't hang on. Austin Joyner. The last five Washington has won by an average of nearly 28 points per game. One last year at Seattle, 41-17. Ryan Nall did not play in that game for Oregon State. Jake Browning, nearly 300 yards with those four touchdowns. On third and six, Garrison. All day. Fires too high and complete. Season as far as forcing turnovers and interceptions, but Oregon State has taken decent care of the football today. Screen set up. Artavis Pierce. And Pierce... Did he lose the football? Washington says they have it. Artavis Pierce, after a scary play where he went end over end, was able to walk off the field. And a third down, a low snap. As dumped off by Garrettson, cutting it back is Thomas Tyner. And Tyner brought down shy of the first down. <laughs> third and 13 for Oregon State after the false start and Fred Lawina. Play action for Garrison. Fires, and it's almost intercepted. Jordan Miller, the closest man there, the corner for the Huskies. Big home run hitters, third and seven. Bowers gets rid of it, the catch complete, and Laird lunging for the third and 12. And they're already bringing the noise here at Husky Stadium. Bowers going to take off. And slides in at the 40-yard. Little screen pass complete to Laird. Got a blocker out in front. Still keeping those legs moving, but two yards. This is a dangerous, dangerous time for Cal. Be careful with the football. Keep an eye on Vita Vea. He's a big force up front. They complete it to Laird. Great move to get away from one tackler, but falls down to the 23, well short of the first down. And this is their fifth possession. And without Noah in, you don't have that tough receiver who will fight for that third down catch that you consistently can go to. Bowers over the middle, behind his intended receiver, incomplete. He will generate a bull rush against the weak interior Cal line. He's got to be double teamed 50 in purple. Yeah, Q, this is your two defensive linemen in front. On third and five. Bowers. Sacked at the two. Under intense heat from game tonight. 21 plays. 39 yards. Only 11 minutes. Yeah. They've not crossed the 38-yard line. Third and three. Powers into traffic, a tight window, and that's going to be complete. If you're Cal, it's get to halftime right now. Powers. A flag down. Teams and every conference really decides how they want to schedule. I actually think it works to our advantage because we Pac-12 teams play a stronger schedule than most. Big third down here, Jonesy. Third down and eight. Bowers under duress and sacked. At Washington front, Vita Vea in again. He has been ubiquitous tonight. Wilkins and an open receiver. It's pulled in for a first down by Jalen. They shift him into the Wildcat here on third down and four. And bring Williams into the backfield to run the option. And Harry able to break a couple tackles still going. What great effort by Nikhil Harry to get the first. 40 and he's 350 <laughs> pounds. And Greg Gaines. Not far behind in terms of uh, ability and size. They are extremely disruptive, but even the backups have had moments with a lot of production this year. 
But a five-minute drive for Arizona State. Wilkins on the rollout here in third down and five. He'll keep it, and Wilkins has the first down. See what he calls here, Tom, third and long. 14th play of the drive from the 13-yard line of Washington. Wilkins with time, dumps it off to Balazs inside the 10. He'll come up short of the line to gain. He's willing to roll the dice on every down. Fourth and one. Wilkins to pass, and it's caught by Harry. He doesn't get the end zone, but he does have a first down. Put him puffing on that last drive. We saw him on the sideline. Wilkins with all day to throw, and Harry couldn't come up with it that time. Austin, they pose some problems. That's Balage leaving the backfield, third down and nine. Wilkins rolling that way. Looking downfield, still on the move, throws it deep, and it hit the pylon trying to go to Balage. So it's fourth down. For Arizona State, or excuse me, for Washington to handle on the offensive side for the Sun Devils. And what, what if they go down and score and it's 17-0? Does Washington have enough to come back from that? Third and three. This is a huge play here, and it's Harry they go to. It's going to be close. And he made that catch, got drilled by two guys, and they haven't spotted the ball yet. That first drive, 16 plays. Arizona State right down the field, but they've been playing well these last couple series. Let's see if Washington blitzes here. ASU three of seven on third down. Wilkins with time, gonna send it downfield, and it's caught at the 10 yard line by Harvey. Go to your star. He's at the top of your screen, and Nikhil Harry. Wilkins throwing it to Harry out in space at the 10, turns up field. Got drilled out of bounds by Ezekiel Casting. They were pretty thrilled with uh, that <laughs> win last night. I don't know any, that's for sure. Here's third and 14. Wilkins rolling out. And he throws it away. A little bit. Balaz shifts into the backfield. Here comes pressure off the edge. Wilkins steps up. And trying to juke the defender. Well played by the Husky. But timing and rhythm, and we talked about that with Wilkins. That's all on Ryan Jenkins. Catch the football. Third and <laughs> ten. Here comes a blitz. Wilkins hit and sacked. Taylor. And Greg Gaines, number 99 play. They've been stagnant so far. Although they just ran away from him on that rollout. So I think they're still scared of him. Third and ten. They just get the playoff. Dangerous pass. Williams wrapped up immediately by Jordan Miller. So it's good. Balaj leaving the backfield. Washington backs off, rushes only three. Wilkins throws it away. It almost got in. They haven't really been doing much in the second half offensively, trying to energize this group. And now they're slowing it down because they understand the importance of this third and two. Even if they don't get it, though, a chance to, again, flip the field. That Washington offense has done nothing. Wilkins will throw it, and it's caught for a first down. Nikhil Harry. Out in the first quarter, go way up the ladder to make a great catch, and then balance to get the foot down. Washington bringing pressure here on third down. Ball thrown deep and out of bounds. So it's fourth and six on the team. A drug overdose. Manny bounced around from city to city, but he's found a home here in Tempe. And he's got a chance to knock off number five as they throw it here on third and five. It's ruled a catch and a fumble recovered by Steve Miller, the right guard. It's at the very minimum. They do have a timeout left so they can take the play clock down here. They do snap it, and Wilkins will throw it, gets hit, and the pass. Oh, my goodness, it's caught! How did he catch that? C.J. French long inside the 10, first and goal, and that might be the game. Really built. These are not the down the distances you want to live in for the Bruins. Three-man rush. Rosen over the middle, just playing to punt. It's a check down, buying some more real estate. Per hour as he does, he blows things up. Three-man rush on third down. 
Rosen buying time. Continues to extend the play. He's going to tuck it under and buy a little real estate for the field goal. Four man rush. Rosen knocked down at the line by Vita Vea. Coverage from the Huskies. Shortest third down today, third and two. Toss outside, all the run for me. Plenty of room. And he's inside the 15, down to about the 13. A gain of third down and six. Play clock down to 10. Four man rush. Rosen out of the pocket. Thought about running for it, instead throws a contested ball for Andrews. Or check that Jamabo, and it's broken up by Miles Bryant. Behemoths up, behemoths up front. Went out of opportunity. Third down and 13. Four man rush. Rosen under pressure again, and down he goes again. Down. Continue this drive. Only a three man rush. Rosen short of the sticks to Pabico. This is an interesting call right now for Jim Mora. Third down and close to five. Four man rush. Well off the mark is Rosen, and it will be. A three and out to start off the second half for UCLA. Compared to Haloti Nada, in around combine time, they're going to see 6'5", 340 run, maybe sub-5 in the 40, and you wow. will see that draft stock continue to escalate. He was a Wildcat quarterback in high school. Third down and 10. Four-man rush. Rosen, well protected. Has to check it down. Trying to break a tackle was Theo Howard, but he was pulled down by Taylor Rapp. And that'll be a three and out after the pick. It's just going to covet his very unique skill set. Third down and six. The Von Monster now two of four passing on the season. Blitz coming off the edge. Tipped ball. Incomplete. They know they can really dial in on the run game. But here you're thinking typical passing situation for Burmeister early. He threw just a dozen times last week in a blowout win at home against Utah. On play action, keeps it himself. Has the first down. And is taken down to the 40. Good run by the true freshman to pick up. Not an easy environment for a true freshman or even a senior to play in here on the road at Husky Stadium. On the ground, Freeman trying to turn up field. He does get the first down. This is an impressive looking opening drive for the Ducks. A pick up of 13. Up the entire defensive line for this third and short. Trying to get some fresh bodies in there. 11th play of the drive for Burmeister and the Ducks. Burmeister rolling, eyes downfield, now tucks and runs. Chase out of bounds and a wise move with the Vita Vea chasing after. Third and five for the Husky 12. They bring Nelson in motion. Burmeister keeps and is smothered. A loss of one on the play. Wrapped right there in the mix. Energy used right there. I could have guessed it. Burmeister on the draw, not going anywhere. Wrapped down immediately, Greg Gang. Ability and has the closing speed. As you said, Gordy, to lasso him to the ground. If you're Burmeister, you got to throw that ball away. Try to throw it in the ground around Royce Freeman's feet. Keep yourself out of this situation. It's a loss of 11. Freeman trying to get some yards back. Taylor Rapp. Last run again is six. Dropped and Freeman is able to get on top of it. Slick football, Braxton Burmeister. Shots down the field to keep the defense honest. Empty backfield here for Herbert. Excuse me, for Burmeister. With a pump, looking deep. Tons of time, tucks, runs, has enough for the first down. You can not get a hat on him. It's a little motion here on third and six. 
pocket beginning to collapse. Burmeister scrambling. Flush will he tuck it again? Trying to put a move on. Not nearly enough for the first down. He's pushed out of bounds by Joe. Wisconsin in the driver's seat. Ducks going for it on fourth and four. They have not been good going for fourth down so far this season. Burmeister to the air into triple coverage. It is knocked in the air and nearly intercepted. As he this is the nation's second best run defense. Helped forward by his own man. He's allowed on the ground last three games combined against Udon. Next sweep to Freeman. It's out of one tackle. Cannot get out of another. Ryan Bowman had the sack earlier. This time wraps him up in the backfield. No surprise. Vita Vea is there as well. It's a motion. The pass on third and two. Stepping up, tucking. As the first down has just enough. Oregon by far the most penalties of the conference. Two seconds to get the snap off. It is fumbled again. And once again, Burmeister has to just smother it. Otoahi maybe the You're on third down watching pass rush from the top. 36. Trevor Spitz also checked in at tailback. Costello with some time throws and he completes that pass to one of his favorite targets and that's Trent Irwin for eight yards in the first and right now nose tackle and then both offensive tackles covered and then watch the secondary fill third and seven it's Daniel Marks in the backfield the fullback picking up the pressure Costello he is pressured he goes down gets sacked by Azeem Victor sometimes forgets to tell on the check is the most important guy involved in the play. And he's the furthest away from the sound. Exactly. You're always going to side on the tailback side. Of that argument's hard to hear back there. Third and three. Love again. Bryce Love is able to get that first down. We've got to make that play by our second right side. Big third down here. Third and two for Stanford. It's Bryce Love again. And Love, with that forward progress, will have the first down. JoJo, one points per game in modern football is just astounding. Third down and seven, play clock down to two. Costello throws to Irwin at the line. Let's see where they mark him down. It's going to be fourth down. Really good timing given by K.J. Costello. You got Cameron Scarlett in the backfield. A fumble on the snap. Costello picks it up. And it looks like Costello is able to get it and get the first down. Tough luck right there for Bryce Love. You know the training stop is so good with Stanford. Costello on third and seven gets hit as he releases it. Incomplete for Connor Wood. Does 6'5", 340 count as big? Yeah, it's large. Large. It's third and eight right now for Stanford. Washington's rushed five. Right here they're rushing three. Costello stepping up. Arcega white side with the catch and gets upended, but a huge game. Nationally, you know, we want to see great players, and he's one of our best. Costello rolling out to his right. Costello throwing back across the field to Irwin, who makes the catch and gets thrown to the ground. <laughs> well, here we go. Came out. Third down and eight. Watch for vertical routes by Stanford. They're going to try to split it down the middle. Most likely, they love doing that out of this formation. Costello to the end zone. Arcega white side, the jump ball, and it's batted down. It looked like JoJo McIntosh and Miles Bryant were there on the coverage. The same exact thing. <laughs> Third and five with Spates in the backfield. Costello just lofting one up for his tall tight end, Colby Parkinson. And I say tall because he's 6'7. Back with another circus play by Costello if he's got it in it. Costello gets set. Vita Vea pulls him down, but there is a flag. On third down has been Irwin. When they go long, it's our Sega White Sox. They're together there on the bottom of your screen. Costello goes to Arcega Whiteside, breaks a tackle. Arcega Whiteside across the 35. 
tackled at the 38 by Ezekiel Turner. Third and two. They just converted on third and three. Costello. Arcega Whiteside again, and Arcega Whiteside has the catch at the 40 for 14. Arcega Whiteside is over 100 yards for the fourth time in his career. On Fox and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Every game is everything. Stanford this year has not been very good on third down. Tonight, they've been great, 9 to 13, and they're facing third and six with Bryce Love in the backfield. Big third down here, but Stanford wins this quarter off. They convert. Handoff is to Love. Love yeah, picks the hole. Love has that first down inside the 20 at the 19. A six second difference between the play clock and the game clock. And what a drive. It started from inside the five. Unbalanced. Costello throws up high incomplete for Caden Smith. Here have come in the red zone, have been on jump balls to either Arcega Whiteside or Colby Parkinson. They were trying for one there. It's Bryce Love here on the carry. And Coach Nick Baker Mayfield with a ton of talent. It's third and six. It's Spates. And Spates gets tackled there, trying to rip the ball free to create the turnover. He might be, uh, might be lighting up some of that incense. <laughs> in the locker room, getting the guys to meditate, too. Third and eight. Hunley. Is that going to be a safety? Where Let's was see the where the forward progress was. Well, Troy McCormick tackled close to the end zone. Pete Kwiatkowski, the defensive coordinator for the Huskies, says, we haven't faced anyone like him this year. Has a unique skill set. This is Cole again. And Cole is going to be stopped up for a one-yard gain and one what you think but a moving beef that that heavy that's not easy you better have been in the weight room a bunch they're gonna go for it here on fourth and one stay away from the beef right <laughs> they're rolling up their sleeves they're gonna run it moss let's see what kind of spot they're gonna give him zach moss on the run and it looks like they're gonna give him the first down to go to Salt Lake City. Two words. Derek Dennis Erickson, the former Hurricanes coach and former associate head coach here at Utah anyway. Huntley, slant, complete. Singleton, touchdown Utes. Third and one. High snap. Huntley going to try and do it himself. Took out his do-it-yourself kid and gets the first down. Next season, when he's had a full year already in this offense, he could be pretty special. And he's told everybody willing to listen that, hey, we're going to get to a bowl game. Almost guaranteeing it. Conley got drilled at the 10-yard line. That's great. Tevis Gaines. Barlett. Third and 11. Got to get to the 47 for the first down. Huntley with a lot of time. And he throws it into traffic. He's picked off. A poor decision by the sophomore. Intercepted by Taylor Rapp. Those are the type of plays that Kyle Winningham said that his sophomore quarterback has to stay away from. You've got to take care of the football. Yeah. And if forced out, he needs to go ahead and scramble as opposed to throwing it up. Important to note, number nine, Darren Carrington in the ball game for the Utes. He's their home run hitter. Pressure blitz, sack at the eight. Big play by Brandon Wellington. Reception for 15 yards in the ball game. Third and ten. Huntley finds Moss, and Moss loose down the sideline, cuts it up. First down, some great improvisation. It was loud before they had this reconfigured stadium. It sounds like 100,000 plus here. Trying not to stall in the red zone. They've kicked an inordinate amount of field goals, trying to get in the end zone here. Huntley stopped up short. Fourth down coming up. Jalen Johnson making the tackle for the Huskies. 
back of this. Seen a single fade or jump ball, and they have all sorts of matchup advantages on the outside. Third and long. Huntley turned it loose. Great adjustment for the reception and the first down by C.O.C. Wilson. Leads the Pac-12 in yardage receiving per game. Trying to become a factor here tonight. Third and six. Huntley complete. What great effort by Moss out of the backfield. The area. They run inside. And it looked like the forward progress of Moss is going to give him enough for the first down. That well, maybe after losing to Stanford, they wouldn't be focused and into it. They're playing their hearts out. Huh? Third and seven, Huntley under pressure and took the sack back of the 26. Tevis Bartlett was the first one there. You can see they're ratcheting things up now. Boy, it's tough on a first year starter. Sophomore quarterback, Huntley. And it's a fake! Wisnowski is going to get the first down! That was a bad call. Well, this one, this one was a good call. Husky fans will remember the play I'm talking about, and I'm on their side on that one. Huntley, complete. First down, Darren Carrington. Keep people in front of you here. And I don't think Utah's going to take a chance here on a third and 12. With a young quarterback, Something to consider. They hand it off to Moss. And they finally wrap up Moss for about a four-yard gain. Ryan Bullitt for his former high school teammate, Damari Simpkins. Third and two. He's going to keep it himself. Fumble! He put it on the ground! Loose ball! Who's got it? Situation, possibly change personnel. Tough, tough to convert though when you're in this long of a distance with this noise. It really gives an advantage to the pass rush. Rushing only four this time, still able to get home. Falk goes down with a flag down. Vita early on in games versus Washington. The inability to get things going, putting themselves behind the sticks in third and long. I don't care who you are. It's just hard to be able to convert. It's hard to be able to sustain drives. Especially when you know Washington's teeing off with three and four rushing and still getting home. Third down and a mile. And he just barely gets rid of it in time to Isaiah Johnson Mack. That's caught across the 35, but still well short. Similar there. Yeah, and it was added on in replay. And just so people understand, too, it doesn't matter if they're defenseless or not. You can't lead with the crown of your helmet. Bottom line. They're down and short. Morrow gets swallowed up by Greg Gaines. Defense best 32nd start of his career. The big fellow with the forward progress was stopped around the one. Third and 17, and again they bring three. Falk off his back foot, throws it out of bounds. And with a race safety, he just got nowhere to go. That's 340 pounds in your face. No thanks. All spotted where it should be. Yeah, third and one. They throw the bubble. Kyle Sweet not going to get it. Ball comes out. They say that it's a completion and a fumble that Washington State recovers. That's football instincts. Doesn't get much better than that. And the thing that you're seeing is Washington didn't have the numbers. There was only two defenders out there. They had the opportunity to complete the wide receiver screen, their pass rush, or their coverage on the back end. The mixture of coverage is the things they try to do to disguise and confuse Luke Falk after the snap of the football. Cougars yet to convert a third down today, facing a four-man rush. Falk over the middle gets picked off. It's Ben Burke Hervin. Third interception of the day for Washington. 
So you got to find a way of moving and making something happen if you're Luke Falk. He's been sacked five times. He's thrown three interceptions. He's fumbled. A night to forget with a senior from Logan, Utah. On third and 17, Kyle Sweet can't hang on. Heard the footsteps of Austin Joyner over the way that. Early the quarterback. That's a big reason why Penn State is 10 and 2 this year, and last year made it to the Rose Bowl. He doesn't get nearly enough love. He's a little overshadowed naturally, given all the credit given to Saquon Barkley, and rightfully so. But Trace McSorley's a top five quarterback in college football, and has been a big reason why Penn State is playing in their second consecutive New Year's Six Bowl game. You can hear the Washington fans. Pretty good turnout for Husky Faithful. Underneath to Barkley. And Barkley with that great speed. Able to get away from the defender. Barkley not in the game here. Miles Sanders is in the backfield with McSorley on third and long. McSorley throwing a deep ball. Got him in. It's caught at the 20. Deshaun Hamilton breaking a tackle. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Burke Kirvin getting a lot more action since Azeem Victor was suspended from the team. McSorley stepping up. Over the middle, there's Kasicki flashing and making a big first down grab into Washington territory. Those qualities in the quarterback. And a throw on target. It was juggled and then pulled in by Hamilton for a first down to the 40. Hips. If I'm Ricky Ronnie, I'm dialing up a quarterback run right here or something underneath to Kasicki. Barkley just shifted into the backfield. Barkley gets it into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Upending Polk. I'll tell you what, when you watch this Washington defense, they will hit you. And the guys that really stand out are those three safeties. JoJo McIntosh, Ezekiel Turner, and right there, Taylor Rapp coming up with a big contact play. Look at how things have changed since that penalty for a personal foul roughing the passer. Momentum completely shifting. Penn State trying to get it back here on third and long. McSorley finds Kasicki. Carries defenders to the 45 yard line. Washington defense. Let's keep an eye on Vita Vea. See if he causes some disruption if they try to run it. Well, they haven't stopped Penn State yet. The Nittany Lions six for six on third down. the run to the left hand side looks a little like the formation that they ran it out of earlier and Barkley able to power past the marker additional sense on a standard drop and just has such great feel for the position I said it earlier and I really believe it I think he's a top five quarterback in college football well you mentioned the schedule they got Wisconsin Ohio State and Michigan State all in state college next year McSorley on the run it's caught pushed out of bounds so the clock stops and it's fourth down and you would Pete Kwiatkowski, the Washington defensive coordinator. Let's see what they dial up here at third down and seven. McSorley over the middle. It's caught a first down. Jawan Johnson to the 30-yard. Versions for them. They've been great so far, but they can absolutely run it here in this formation, too. See if they could have numbers to the right-hand side. That's where Barkley is lining up to the right of McSorley here. Washington bringing pressure. McSorley to throw. Going to take a shot. Receiver is there. Ball is caught. Touchdown. Deshaun Hamilton. It's third and eight, though, at the 43. McSorley with time to throw. An on-target pass again. That's been the go-to guy on third down. Jawan Johnson. Big third down here for Penn State. Third and two. A two touchdown lead. Direct snap to Barkley. Barkley head of the backfield. A huge play at the 31 yard line by Ryan Bowman. So now you're fourth and five. Big safety net. Mike Gesicki, who's located at the top of the screen. See if they can get him in some open space against zone coverage. 
And they release him down the field. Stepping up, McSorley. And throws to Barkley. Leaps in, is out of bounds. Where will they spot it? And they give him the first down for a conference in a bowl season. Huskies need to stop here with the clock at 8.56 and counting and a third and ten. McSorley dumping it off to Barkley. And Barkley dropped at the 39-yard line by Joyner, so... Down for Penn State because Washington has all the momentum and they've been outstanding through the air on third down all day today. McSorley hasn't missed on third down, 10 of 10. Keep an eye. McSorley moving around and look who he finds. Jawan Johnson. Get the ball again right here, running to the right hand side. With a clock at 340. It is Barkley, and he gets the first down, powering into Washington territory. Juan Barkley. McSorley, though, on third down, 11 of 11 passing for two touchdowns. Washington stacks the box. Here they come. McSorley climbing the pocket, and he throws complete. It's Deshaun Hamilton who has two. Got Saquon Barkley in the game. The first down probably wins the game. Third down and about three. And it is Barkley. And he's close. They're going to mark him short. So this will take the clock.